I'm here with Dr. Romano and Professor Blois to do problems on geometric figures. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, Professor of Organic Chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products in the Death Destroyer book. Once again, we're here with Professor Blois who's going to do some solid word problems geared for the debt. All right, Professor, take it over. Okay, let's do some of these word problems here. This is going to involve a cylinder. Given a soup can with height 5 inches and diameter 4 inches, how much paper would be required to print labels for 100 cans? I think it's good to start off with a diagram. Here is our soup can, okay? And our, the height is 5 inches, and the diameter is 4 inches, which means that the radius is 2 inches. So, therefore, we want to find out what is the, what kind of area do we need, what kind of paper do we need, how much paper do we need for the, um, uh, the soup can, the soup can label. Well, if we unfold the soup can label, what do we have? We stretch it out, it turns out to be a rectangle. We know the area of a rectangle is base times height. We know the height is five inches, right? Height is equal to five inches. But what is the length of this rectangle? Well, it's going to be what? The circumference of the circle. And we know that the circumference of a circle is two pi r, or in this case, two pi times two, or 4 pi. So that's 4 pi inches. So that means for one soup can, once one can label, for one can label, the area is going to be length times width, which is going to be 4 pi times 5, which is going to be equal to 20 pi square inches. So what? We want but labels for 100 cans? Okay, so 100 labels is going, the area is going to be 100 times that. It's going to be 100 times 20 pi inches squared, and that's going to be 2,000 pi inches squared. And there's our answer right there. Okay, so that's good to know the, how to find the uh, area of a label on a soup can. Yes, let's go to this next problem. A company manufactures containers consisting of a cone of height six inches and diameter four inches on which a semisphere of diameter four inches sits. So it's modeled to look like an ice cream cone. How much volume does this container hold? So they may want to fill it with soda pop or something like that. So let's just con first consider the volume. Uh, let's consider the uh, uh, cone, that is. So the volume of a cone is equal to, it's equal to pi, one-third pi r squared h. Pi r squared being the area of the base of the cone, the height being the height of the cone, and you just divide by three, okay? So that's going to be the volume of the cone. The volume of the semisphere, okay, the volume of the semisphere is going to be one-half the volume of a sphere. What's the volume of a sphere? Four thirds pi r cubed. Now, don't let the fact that you see r cubed here and r squared here make you think that you have the wrong formulas. Because here we have three dimensions: the two dimensions of the volume of a cone, two dimensions from r squared, one more dimension from height. So we have all three dimensions represented in each of these formulas. So therefore, all we have to do is fill in the details. What's the volume of the cone? It's one third pi times its radius squared. Well, we know its diameter is four inches, so I know the radius is equal to two. So it's one third two squared times the height, which is six inches. Okay, and that's gonna be one third times pi times four times six is 24. So that's going to be equal to eight pi. That's equal to eight pi, I'll put that over here. And what about the volume of the semisphere? Four thirds pi r cubed, that's gonna be one half, four thirds pi. And once again, the diameter of the sphere is four inches, therefore its radius, once again, is two. So it's gonna be two cubed. And then this is going to be what? Uh, one, uh, eight times four is 32, over six times pi. And that's going to be equal to, uh, let's see, if we reduce that down, that's going to be, uh, what is it going to be? 16 thirds pi. So if I add the two figures together, 16 thirds pi plus 8 pi 
that's going to give us the volume of the entire container. So this is equal to what? 5 and 1 third, 5 and 1 third pi plus 8 pi, the result of which is 13 and a third pi um, cubic units. Uh, cubic inches because that's what the unit is cubic inches so there we are we just have to know the formulas for those for respective volumes and that's the whole problem right there absolutely smoking work oh yeah great thank you unbelievable you're better than any instructor that ever came here I I really really you are amazing oh, boy, all right i hope you guys enjoyed it and that was a challenging problem so get back and hit the books bye bye see you next time